Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. So today's tutorial is going to be a very quick and easy one and we're doing it because today is Canada Day. That's right, Canada's birthday is today and I thought it was very fitting to do up a rock as the Canadian flag. So what I did was I used one of the small oval molds that I got from the Happy Dotting Company. There's a link in the description below definitely go and check out her Etsy shop. She's got amazing uh, molds to make your own rocks. And um, that's where I got this one from. So it's the small oval and I painted it black because I always seem to paint my, uh, my rocks black after they've been cured as a base coat. So um, sometimes when I'm using a lighter color as my top coat, I've got to do a couple of different coats um, or different layers of coats because the black does shine through. So sometimes when I'm doing this, I've got to be really careful and, and do two or three coats of, um, of the lighter color. Uh, so that's what I do here. So I'm putting on just a white base coat and uh, making sure that my brush strokes are even and then I let it dry. Then I go in with my red and I do the same thing as what I just did with the white and I'm just putting on a base coat because I don't want this to be, you know, like just regular red and white. I got to put some, uh, some shine to this, some glitter. So I do have a couple of glitter paints that I'm going to be using a little later on. Um, all of the colors will be listed in the description below that I've used. Now, these are just ones that I've got in my stash uh, and I'm just using, although one of them is a new one. It's a white uh, shimmer, uh, glamour shimmer, I think is what it's called. And I use it on the white part of the Canadian flag and it's beautiful. I love it. It's so amazing. So here I am actually applying it now. I've got my base coat of white and the base coat of red on there and it's dry. So now I can put on the glitter paints. So this is that white shimmer or glamour shimmer, I think it's called or enchanted shimmer. Um, just look in the description below for the one that uh, the real name of what this paint is, but it goes on so nice, adds this uh, glimmer and shine to it and it's white. So uh, it goes on top of the white coat and doesn't allow the black to shine through. So it's amazing. Uh, it's definitely going to be one of my uh, go-tos in my, um, my well-used paints and uh, will be seen in a few more of my upcoming tutorials. So stick around for that and uh, different applications and how you can use it. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can view any of the upcoming videos that I have and make sure you hit that bell notification so you'll get a notification to let you know that I've just posted a new video. And if you like this one, let me know. Give me the thumbs up. I'd really like to see those thumbs up that uh, you guys really like the content that I'm bringing you. So make sure to give me thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell so you get all notifications when I post new videos. So now I'm just giving another uh, coat of red paint just to uh, lighten it up so that you can see a little bit more of the actual color. When I paint over top of the black, uh, it kind of dulls the color. So definitely needed a couple of coats of, um, of the red on there so that the black didn't dull it so much. Um, and here I am, I'm just applying a second coat of that uh, white glitter paint. Um, but I'm using a wider brush so that I get um, more of even coverage and more even strokes. And uh, it just makes it pop that just a little bit more um, and make sure that all of the, the black that may have been even slightly peeking through is gonna be covered. So I've got a nice white stripe that goes down the middle. And here I'm applying the red glitter paint. So um, it goes on, um, I put it on fairly thick actually, um, but it, it really, really shines once it's dry. And it goes on kind of like milky kind of color or strawberry milkshake. 
uh, because I'm using the red glitter uh, but that's okay because it does dry very very nicely um, and you do see the glitter that uh, is uh, uh, within it so it is um, for me I think of it as it's showing me where I have applied it and um, then I know that I don't need to put any more on to that particular area and it will dry uh, clear but with the glitter really shining so um, I do put it on rather thick on both sides because I was trying to get away from having to do two coats um, but uh, if you have to do two coats or three coats then so be it um, maybe next time what I should start doing is um, painting my rocks white with the uh, the base coat and then if I want to do black as my base coat then I can switch it up it's easier to go darker than it is to go lighter so maybe that's something I should consider in doing uh, when I'm priming my rocks before I start to paint on them um, might be something to change up so you might see that uh, in future videos so we'll see how it all works out to finish this off all we've got to do is put in the maple leaf so I have these punches that uh, have different shapes so I used it to punch out a maple leaf in some of my um, vinyl that I have and placed it on and there you have it folks life is what you make it so get creative